The reference fusion composition is brand new to DaVinci Resolve 19. The idea behind it is to make the timeline less complicated when dealing with composites that were processed through fusion. In order for me to show how it makes it less complicated, it might get a little complicated <laughs> unless I show you the previous ways that we were dealing with getting elements and assets into fusion and then getting them back out of fusion on the edit page. So let me show you that first. If you just want to see how to use the reference fusion composition, there's a timestamp below. You can just jump to that, but I highly suggest watching overall. This will make a lot more sense. So the first way that we would get elements into fusion so that we could do our composite and then get it back onto the timeline would be using just a normal fusion composition. So to do that, we would come up to effects and then click effects, fusion comp, bring that in, make it the length that you need. From here, we would go into fusion. Our fusion comp currently doesn't have any assets within it. We would then have to bring it from the media pool or use a loader and get it off of our computer, you know, from another location. But we would just bring these elements in. We could then do some level of compositing, whatever that may be. I'll just do this so that uh, it's easy to see. Bring this over. Let's just throw some text on here as well. Then we come back over to the edit page and there is our composite. The downside to this is we have no way of changing the timing or switching the clips out. So we would have to go back into Fusion, grab a different clip, relink it in. If we wanted to change timing, we would have to click on the clip, change the trim, or go into the keyframes. In here, we would then drag the clips around to get our proper timing and then we would come back over to the edit page and then we would have our new composite. The other way that we could go about getting a composite together is if we go up to the media pool, we pull our different elements that we want to use on the timeline, but then have them represented in Fusion. We would then go like this, have our composite, highlight them, right click, new Fusion clip. From here, we would then be able to go into Fusion and we would have our elements here. We would then be able to do our composite. So let's add this on. There we are. So we do our composite, boom, like that. Come back over. Now we have, oops, I guess I didn't really change the size of the one. Change the size, bring it down. Now we have our composite. If we ever need to change an element, we could easily just right click here, open in timeline. Now on the edit page, we can manipulate which clips we are using. So let's say we wanna to switch to that clip. What is this like? Okay, from like a straight down. Oops, don't need to go into here. Let's go over to our timeline. Now we have that straight down shot inside of the uh, train station. So that's how we would do that, right? But that whole time, if we're over here and we're working in here, we can't see the elements to the left or to the right of our uh, fusion comp. In our fusion clip, if we go into it, we can't see the elements to the left or to the right, okay? And we have to go into these other clips, which makes the timeline overall a little more complicated. So that's where the reference fusion composition came from or the necessity for it, making the timeline a little simpler, a little bit better to understand. And so now let's do a composite here. So we'll grab a couple of elements. What are we working with here? All right, we got Manhattan and we still got that top down. Okay, so let's say we wanted to use these clips, right? What we could do is we highlight all of them. It could be more, let's, let's, let's add another one in here. Okay. So we grab our clips, we highlight all of them. On the top one, we right click on it. We then go create reference composition, set a name, there we go. Now, within this clip, we see we have a little icon here. It's very similar to the Fusion icon. We can go over into Fusion on that particular clip, which we're currently not on. So we'll come over here 
to that particular clip. And now we have access to all three of these clips in here. So let's quickly do a small composite. We'll just do like almost like a picture in picture of all of our clips. And for this one, let's add in some color and then some text. Now, if I come back over to the edit page, we can see that all of the clips below are represented. If I ever wanted to change a clip, let's find one that is very different. Okay, so this one, if I ever wanted to change a clip, I could go like that, and now that clip is represented here. If I wanted to, let's get the train station instead, I go like that, now it's the train station. So we're just manipulating the clips on the timeline, being able to see the other elements. And with that, we can now composite on a timeline that makes a little bit more sense. Other thing too that I thought was pretty cool is if I offset this a little bit so that this makes a little more sense. And then you can see that I go from, you know, the element to a then a composite version of it with that other element there and then you can go back. I don't know, I just thought that that was cool because typically your timing between elements like this would be almost impossible to be able to easily manipulate. Um, but yeah, being able to just switch it and then boom, then we have the same thing over here. So yeah, that is the reference fusion composition in a nutshell. The only other thing I could add in here is let's say we wanted to add on a composite on top of a composite here. Let's say we wanted to add in, what are we currently using here? Uh, okay, we're not using this aerial shot. I wanna add this aerial shot in, but we want this to be compositing these down here. What we could do is we could come up to here and we could take this selecting this particular reference fusion composition clicking on it, then right clicking on this clip, then we could go link to reference composition. Now this one, if we go into fusion, we now have that <laughs> uh, reference fusion clip here, which I always, which I thought was pretty funny. And this will get kind of wonky to look at, but uh, yeah, there you go. Now we have a composite inside of a composite. Um, yeah on the edit page and we can still go in and manipulate the elements and the elements then get manipulated on the other uh, portions of the composite. So, so yeah, that's pretty much the reference fusion composition. I welcome you to join me over on post pro list. If you have any questions there, we'll probably be talking more about all of these different updates that came out for DaVinci Resolve 19. But with that being said, check the channel. Lots of other videos going over all of the other uh, updates in detail. Uh, but with that being said, my name's Justin. Thanks so much for watching. Until next one, guys, have a good one. See ya.